This is the Acer Aspire One netbook. I've actually installed Microsoft's Windows Vista on here. I wasn't very happy with the performance of XP Home because XP Home doesn't recognize the Atom chipset's hyper-threading capability. So XP Home does not see it as two CPUs as Vista does. I'll show you, Vista here is actually really responsive. Even though this machine only has one gig of RAM, uh, it loads up things very well, go into full screen mode there. Uh, the office applications load very well. The boot time for this machine is 50 seconds. Nothing outstanding, but still pretty good considering it's a netbook. Now what I did was I disabled the security center, disabled the arrow effects, uh, I disabled uh, the transparency, the sidebar gadgets. I'll launch Sling Player here so you can see that it can control the uh, TiVo with Sling Player pretty well. You can see on dark screens how reflective the screen here is. So the sling player works very well on the Acer through Windows Vista here. Load up a little video. These videos are very fluid. Doesn't have any problems running them. I talk more about what it is I did to make this machine a lot faster on the blog TechDC, which is T E C H D C dot com. One of the things that I did was I installed a ReadyBoost drive, uh, and it's an SD standard SD card, uh, and you just put it in a Vista, and it asks you if you want it to be seen as a ReadyBoost drive, which improves the read performance uh, on random access uh, reads. It's just a two gigabyte card that I stuck in there. And luckily the Acer Aspire 1 has two SD slots. And the SD slot on the left here puts it in so it's completely flush with the device. So not a huge performance increase from that, but uh, it does make it seem certainly a bit snappier. So that's been my review for the Acer uh, Aspire 1 netbook running Microsoft's Windows Vista.